We're up, Pisces. We are jumping into your reading today. We're going to see how this person feels for you and how do they view you. If you guys need anything, check out that description. Cards I use are down there. My booking information is down there. There's a keen offer if you want to use them. First 10 minutes, only $1.99. What's the other thing? Oh, my tarot course is down there. All right, let's jump into this. How do they feel for you? How do they view you? So right now this person views you as someone who's just really gliding through the currents. They feel like you really have the ability to see things from a different approach and you're able to glide through situations with grace and ease. They feel like you really have the ability to understand um, certain things that happen by changing your perspective and having the ability to, it's like, you have the ability to change your perspective when you need to. You have the ability to stand up for yourself when you need to. You have the ability to adapt so you can get through situations at a little more of a peaceful speed than maybe some people are able to do. How do they view Pisces? They view you as someone who's very insightful and established. This person feels like you're very grounded and you rebalance your energy very well as well. They feel like you have the ability to bring your awareness into the now. Um, yeah, so they view you as someone who doesn't really live in the past or the future. You just try to grab today's horns and just conquer the day. But again, you have this ability to be very insightful. But you're also very stable, grounded, established as your own individual, as your own adult. <laughs> what do we have? You have a sense of contentment as well. So they view you as someone that's very content, someone who has the ability to wait on things rather than acting very interesting interesting and they see you someone that's able to blend in to the environments or the things that you have going on as well this person also views you as someone who gives a hundred percent of their energy you you have the ability to totally submerge yourself whether it's a project or interest or a goal and you have the ability to find things that you feel maybe you're lacking. You know, some people go through their life feeling like they're missing something and that's just it. They feel like they miss it and they don't try to fix it. It's just, it just is what it is kind of attitude. And I feel like this person views you as someone who's completely different. They view you as someone who's very resilient, strong, yet beautiful. They view you as someone who's not very pushy and you don't see a sense of rushing things or rushing life, rushing experiences. You really let things come as they want, come as they are. And you're, again, very determined and very patient. I feel like this person views you amazingly. And I feel like they also view you as someone has, who has the ability to really rejuvenate and start anew, start afresh. And you don't see it as something that's intimidating. You see it as something that can indicate that you need a new sense of abundance, a different sense of abundance. Very amazing. How does this person view Pisces? Happy family. Wow. Yin and yang is underneath how they view you. They view you as someone who's very happy, content, but they also view you as someone who makes them very happy, someone who balances them out, someone who understands them. They could also feel like you mirror them in a way that they didn't expect. They feel like you're very mysterious, but you're also very, again, stable, grounded, abundant, very nurturing, very kind. They feel like you're very calculated when it comes to your ways of approaching life and how you conquer your challenges. They feel like you're a very strong individual and you have a sense of childlike energy. I feel like they see you as someone who's very victorious as well. So this person sees you in a really good light. They see you very victorious, very happy, nurturing, abundant, strong, yet there's a sense of divine feminine energy to you as well where you'll fight if you need to fight but you also just want to have peace you want to just have a very calming energy 42 could be significant 30 50 or 4 so i don't know if those are numbers you're seeing ages i'm not exactly sure 
This person also views you as someone who's really on a journey, a journey that is going to be vic victorious. But this person could also view you as someone who maybe has a sense of attachment when it comes to romance or love. This person could also sense that maybe you're attached to them, that you do have a mask on when it comes to maybe what you're saying and what you're feeling. Maybe there's an energy here as well where this person views you as someone who isn't necessarily telling them everything that you're feeling. Um, there's also an energy here again where you're on a journey of overcoming maybe some sort of financial restraints. There could be some sort of envy here that this person could either see you go through or could have heard about. Um, very interesting. But they view you as someone who's very strong, very kind, very giving. But someone who, again, could have a tendency that when you love someone, you love them. And it can be very hard for you to detach and give up, so to speak, on someone. How else do they view Pisces? And then we're going to see how they feel for you. How do they view Pisces? <sighs> they view you as someone who's magical, who has very very um you're very intuitive you're very wise this person feels like you really have the ability to go places that are feared and untreaded this person again there's a very grounding energy here as well there's also an energy here where maybe you really love wilderness or animals you try to conserve nature or maybe you're just a nature lover This person sees you as someone who's very responsible, very developed beyond your years. You're very intellectual as well. You have this ability to reap the harvest of your full potential. It's like what you're good at, you're good at. And nobody can question that. Even if it's flipping pancakes at Waffle House, nobody can question that you're the best one. And it's as simple as that. I feel like this person, again, sees you as someone who's very independent. Someone who has the ability to speak their truths, open their throat chakra and say that what they need to say. There could be something big happening in November for you, Pisces. Something to do with maybe power. Um, something you could be exploring. Very interesting. I don't know. But they view you as someone who's very powerful. Very spiritual as well. I keep seeing four. Four, four, four. I also see that there could be some sort of plans you have going on. They also view you as someone who's really cautious. Cautious because you want to keep your inner peace. You're very careful about your next steps. You really pay attention to the details. That's that patience coming in interesting okay let's get some um tarot how does this person feel for pisces how does this person feel for pisces Ooh, i feel like their feelings actually burden them and stress them out they feel like you're very abundant they feel like you're really making cycles completing challenges and really going for the goal they feel like you could be something amazing in their life but there's an energy here of this person being overwhelmed and stressed out and burdened how does this person feel for pisces how does this person feel for pisces how does this person feel yeah see there's an energy here there's a lot of energy here of like new beginnings reaping fruits of your labor this person feels like they could have definitely missed an opportunity to have something amazing with you something fresh something new this person feels like you could definitely be some sort of wish fulfillment for them and i feel like this person could be really coming into some sort of truth changing their perspective on how they view you they feel that they could definitely owe you an apology. There's a lot of page energy. So it's like this person feels that they want to start this over. I feel like this person feels that you're also fist to go towards some sort of new beginning. But there is an energy here of have I missed my opportunity. There was a path here that wasn't chose. This person didn't choose to go towards the future with you. I feel like there was harvest here. You guys really tried to make this work. Or someone did. Someone decided not to go in that direction. How does this person feel for Pisces? How does this person feel? They do feel like, again, that you're very healing, nurturing, caring. They feel like you come out of left field. They feel like you have this ability to, again, have patience, 
change your perspective on things and shift when you need to shift. They feel like you're, there's a, there's a sense here that you're able to do things that this person feels like they're not able to do. You give and you give without the thought of getting something back. And I feel like they truly feel. That was interesting. I heard, I feel like this is something they've had to meditate and contemplate on. I heard you're out of my league is what I just heard. And there could definitely be something here where this person feels that you're actually about to release them if you already haven't. This person's trying to get up the energy to make some sort of first move, bold move towards you after a time of healing. Um, I feel like nothing's set in stone yet, though, when it comes to this person. I feel like you're really going towards a very prosperous time of your life while this person really thinks about their actions, who they are. There's a lot of self-reflection on this person's part, and I feel like as it goes, this person really feels like you're trying to bring love into your everyday life. You're letting go of this sense of attachment that you've had for past people, lovers, people that you feel like you gave and gave and didn't get in return, people that you feel like are keeping things to their self and you just want that closure, you just want that answer. They feel like you've you've grown beyond that and you've really learned how to bring love into the situation and understand and realize that you're truly good enough for everything that you're giving and more i feel like this person really feels that you're taking a look at the bigger picture and again not really letting your your past hold you back even if that's needing to have a communication that you didn't want to have or the lack thereof in finding peace in no closure. This person, again, sees you as a very strong individual. And I feel like there's a lot of meditating and contemplating on this person's part for the lack of a decision made to invest with you is really what I'm getting. And I feel like ultimately you held your vision for what you were wanting, where you were going. Okay, let's get... I'm hearing hands on my thigh. So, somebody could have touched somebody's thigh. That could have been the thing. I don't know. How does this person feel for you? This person feels like you're their emotional fulfillment, but there's something here with the Seven of Cups that they're scared that maybe you have their options open. There is a very wounded energy here as well. So, they do also feel... See, there's a wounded energy here with this connection. There is an energy here, you know, I feel like you're my emotional fulfillment. I feel like you make me happy, but I also feel like I maybe made a wreck of this. And I see you living, I'm living my best life. That's what I'm hearing. So I'm hearing somebody could live their best life right now. You know, waking up with the sunshine, trying to, I'm hearing just keep swimming. So, I mean, it's like I'm just trying to get through my life without crumbling you know, very wounded energy. And it's like somebody here has wounded this connection. And although they see this as their emotional fulfillment, they know to get to that end goal, there's going to be a lot of um, information that's going to have to be and a lot of transformation that's going to have to happen. And somebody's going to have to truly pick a flipping path. And the path is for a new beginning. But that was the lack of a path that this person was willing to give last time. And now they feel like they're ready for it. Why does this person feel like they're ready for it now? Okay, why does this person feel like they're ready for it now? The Seven of Wands tells me that they're not, that they still have a guard up. Okay, they could be ready for it now because you have your guard up, because you put a sense of boundaries here. This person feels like there could be an energy here where a new beginning could be impossible because there is boundaries here that you've placed. Boundaries against them. Give me more for how does this person feel? How do they feel for Pisces? They have a lot of love for you. But again, there's a lot of wounded energy here when it comes to building something. And there's a very conflicted energy here. I feel a lot of like self-imposed in prison. Um, I'm telling myself that this isn't possible. I feel like there could also be some sense of fair commitment here, which could have kept that conflicted energy. Interesting. Huh. Give me some 
more for how this person's feeling for Pisces. And we're going to wrap this one up. This one's going to be short and sweet today. I remember every detail of that day. I wish things could be different. Interesting. There was something here where you trusted this person. And now you don't. You turned your back on them. You put a wall up. You put a guard up. Yeah, you let me down. And there could be something here where you realize that you and this person doesn't share the same values. But there's something here where this person has saved messages and texts. And they're wanting to know if they still have a chance. They could definitely watch your social media if you have it. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. That's how they, that's what they feel. They feel that it was hard to let you go. They feel that they can't let you go because they keep tabs on you in any way, shape, or form. They keep your messages. They reread them. They're wondering if they're able to have more of a chance. But they feel like that they did let you down for not choosing a path with you. And ultimately, I feel like someone here scratched it up as, okay, we just don't share the same values or morals of what we want. You know, but this person's like, I, I wish it could be different. I wish I would have made a different decision that day. I remember the day that this wilted down to nothing. And I feel like this person is recovering and healing from this. I feel like you both have. And I feel like this person's ultimately coming to a conclusion that they don't want to let you go. But I also feel like there's an energy here. Of, I don't want to let you go, but I can't reach out. I'm not over you. I miss hearing your voice, but I can't reach out. I don't know what you want, but I can't reach out. Um, and it was ultimately because this person wouldn't like get close to you. They they were like, no, don't get close to me. Don't get, no, you can't get close to me. And you were like, okay, never mind then. I'm going to put this boundary up. I'm going to put this wall up and you won't get close to me. And now this person's like, wait, I wonder if you're happy without me. I miss you. What, what just happened? So... There is a shift in energy here is what I'm getting. I feel, and I feel like that's been the theme for a hot minute. A shift in energy where it's like the person who let you down is now wishing that they wouldn't have. That wishing that they would have seen you in this very abundant, stable light. You should be with me. I want to be more than friends. Interesting. There could have definitely been a runner chaser dynamic. For this connection, for some of you, now there's more of a, I don't care what you want, what you need. Yeah, there was red flags. Absolutely. Absolutely. Give me a few more. What are they feeling? They feel like they want more. I compare everyone to you. Yeah, I don't want to be vulnerable. This person saying, I know that you're waiting for me to reach out to you. Interesting, and they're telling you to focus on yourself if that is your energy. Focus on yourself. If you're waiting for this person to text you, call you, hit you up, focus on yourself. This person's got to realize that they were the issue. Now, what I'm, I'm not saying, oh, they're a horrible person. What I'm saying is, is that sometimes in life, we have to take a step back and say, okay, what did I do different in that? What could I do different? I shouldn't have said this. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have approached like this. We all need to do that to grow as an individual. Even if you think, oh, no, I didn't do nothing in that connection. There has got to be one thing that you didn't do right. Like, let's be honest. And I feel like this person, as you detach, needs to see their red flags, see the issues that they weren't willing to see. And it was the lack of a path being chose. You know, <laughs> I chose and I chose wrong is what I'm getting. I love the way I feel when I'm around you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This person could definitely want to apologize about some sort of energy where you guys were on different pages. You guys were completely different people at the time. Only one person was really investing. One person was very unavailable. And this person's going to say, you know, I've changed. I've changed. I've changed. Um, yeah, and I feel like they could come and ask you out. But we're not going to dig too much into that. This was just a how they feel, how they view you. How do they feel? How do they view you? So I feel like they view you as someone that's turned their back on them. You've turned, their, you've turned your back on them. Yeah, they view you as someone who's resting and restoring. You're restoring your soul. You're really taking that self-care to another level. You're pampering yourself. You're loving yourself. You're letting this abundance flow to you. You're really first believing that you are are worth everything that you're getting and the universe is pouring it to you so this person feels like you're a very abundant person 
This person also feels like you've really surrendered to trying to control this or trying to make it work or trying to figure out the options or trying to figure out the possibilities and you've really just learned to listen to your intuition and i heard it serves you is what it, it serves you well they feel like you really have become this beautiful creature that has been you know you've been built under this pressure of bad experiences and horrible people and really hard situations where although it might not feel like it and at the time you felt like your world was crumbling you've come out stronger than ever you've come out wiser humble all of the above and this person really feels that you have faced those struggles with such growth beauty poise and it's really shaped you into a beautiful person that you are. So I feel like this person feels very good for you. But I also feel like this person's energy in the past was not that. It was very meh. Nah. And I feel like you really had to meditate upon this person. Upon their energy. And I feel like even maybe some of the words that this person said to you were not the kindest. They really had to make you think. And take a check of your reality and ask you if there's something you wanted to change. But I feel like it opened you up to being curious to something more. It opened you up to staying open to the ways that life can surprise you. So, okay. That's amazing. Um, yeah, this person feels that you're really trusting in the unknown. That the universe is really opening doorways for you. And you're trusting in the universe. And it's really, again... Bringing a sense of abundance, a sense of mystery that's paying off so well. Hmm. Okay, Pisces, we're going to leave that here. Have a blessed day.